know why, but these little knobs I always sell. Paid about 50 cents for them, and they sold for $8.50. This is a five-foot macrame made out of jute. I believe this was thrown in when I bought some other things at an estate sale. It sold for $27.50. These are Walter Hagen golf clubs. This sale didn't work out very well. The buyer asked us a question and then purchased it before we answered the question. It was about the flex on these clubs. So uh, they went all the way to Nova Scotia and um, I didn't know how to really ensure that I wouldn't get charged a lot to take them back. So um, I had to eat about 60 bucks with uh, the price and the shipping. So that was not fun. Don't know what we paid for this, but it sold for $18.50 and all of this stuff. And then the buyer complained that it was dirty, which it really wasn't. We got about 15 bats on an online auction for equivalent of $8 a piece. And this one sold for $159 pretty much right away. Paid eight, sold for 68. Paid eight, sold for 75. This is the second time I've sold these Gerber mining knives in, in the walnut case. Um, the first people did not like the uh, little bit of corrosion on them, which was fully disclosed. Um, so I paid 750 for these and they sold this time for 47. And they stayed where they were. Sent another bat. This one sold for $88. The uh, cost us was $8 again. Um, these are actually uh, mostly BESR bats, which are no longer illegal for high school use, but they're used in college and adult baseball. So um, nice to get our hands on these. I ran across these at um, a local thrift store for a quarter for all of them. And they turned out to be um, what's called zoo talkers. And uh, they are made by Fisher Price. And I don't know what makes them talk. They must be um, hooked up to something else. And they sold for $42.50. Pretty happy about that. Three dollars for this little Tykes xylophone piano. And it sold for $16.75. Somebody gave me all the pamphlets and the booklets they had saved all these years, and um, they sold for eight fifty. I just pulled out a lot of TV tube and repair TV repair booklets. For that Louisville Slugger sold for seventy five. I bought this bat for seventy five. I live in Minnesota, and I found this Minnesota Vikings pin. I think I got about fifty pins for a dollar. Uh, various types but um, this was the best I meant to list this when the Super Bowl was scheduled for Houston during the season but I misplaced this but the season was all over and I was very happy to sell it for $50 another bat this one was new and it sold for $120 paid $8 getting rid of Tupperware this is a mismatch set but it fits together and they sold for um, Ten dollars. These are Rena pans. R E N A. I bought them from a estate of some elderly friends who passed away, and paid eight dollars for them. And they were broken handles. I paid, I believe, four dollars, no, ten dollars a piece for um, three handles. I replaced them and cleaned them up, and these sold for two hundred and thirty-five dollars. Great sale. This train stamp book was something that my mother-in-law saved. The kids had it when they were young. Um, and it has um, all this description of trains and stickers. And it sold for $15. I paid a couple bucks for this little uh, doll case. And it had little dolls in it. I sold separately. And this now sold for $12.50. This is an Axis and Allies Pacific game. I listed it and then I was asked to just send the pieces and the money. So I did that 
and did that for $15. I should have charged more and uh, part, part, of, part out the game. Because the parts are what they're looking for. And the last item on a very good week was this Polaris snowmobile suit. It is uh, Hein Garricky, the designer. All American made with the gloves. We paid 50 for it at a thrift store that was on a half price sale. So it was at 100 Paid 50 and it sold for 170 So it was a very good week. Bye now.